Brandon no longer plays the Falcon. He was saying he kind of likes playing as Luigi because he's, you know, if he's able to land like two fireballs and an up air, uh, he's going to close out the stock. Yeah, and especially in um, sets against characters who are small, like people who are light. And, you know, an up B will kill at 70%, maybe, like yeah. even lower. Exactly. And actually, that's actually what he said. I left that out of the quote. So it's cool that you actually filled that in, you know. But uh, we see Bark quickly taking the first stock. Uh, the thing about Bark is he's such a, or I'm sorry, I see Bark. The thing about Josh is he's such a solid player that, uh, you know, low tier tricks, if we can call them that, aren't going to work on him. You know, he, he's very well versed in the entire yeah. cast. But there's Look a quick that. up air up B. Yeah. And Josh is especially. Um, Fortunate in that, you know, he he lives near Cheers, so you may, you know, get a lot of Luigi practice if you're playing against David Cheers. Yeah, I do think they're very different style Luigi players. Oh, and they are. Oh, oh great oh, DI. That was amazing, guy. And you see, DI saves lives. Say it, say it every time. But despite stylistic, I mean, playing against people will prepare you for, you know, it'll it'll get you more acquainted to their play style. But characters don't change. Right, so you're going right. to know how far Luigi's recovery is. You're going to know what trades, what doesn't trade, etc., etc. Right. Oh, but he saves him there. He was not going to grab the ledge. Was he not? Luigi's back throw, I think he's the only character in the game with a weaker back throw than a fo than forward throw. Yeah, they messed back. that up. <laughs> oh, but Ooh. he goes too far underneath. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if he wanted the extended. That down tilt. Ooh. Uh it goes a little bit too deep. The cool thing uh, about Luigi is he's so slippery that when you're, you know, in shield stun, he's actually going to get pushed so far. It's very hard for uh, characters to shield break or put a lot of shield pressure on him. Yeah, and Josh takes game one. Yeah, but the that drop off there is so nice to lead into a back air. That was just posted. Um, that you know, shield friction, shield push. Oh really? Uh, Luigi has the lowest fraction or traction of everyone. Yeah. So um, he just slides so far. Like I think. You know, whoever's highest is like, yeah. Then the next. Like 0.8, I think, is something. Like 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and then his is 2. I think they should have given I think they should have given Jigglypuff uh, a lot of uh, shield, a lot of, a very low amount of shield friction. Right. Especially with the ability to just kill her. That's a stock. Yeah. And that was at, what, 52% he landed it. Oh, good ledge cancel there. Yeah, that's what he goes for every between stocks. He just works on that, he says. It's good because it is applicable if you can land it, but because of the multiple heights, uh, it's easier to mess up. It's not as consistent as other tech. Right. Oh, good and there. such good spacing from Josh to be able to just float around those fireballs nice and slow. And yeah, Josh's doing hit. a great job at edge guarding. He's getting well above Luigi. Is Luigi still invincible maybe for that, for that up air? Uses that down tilt really nicely, and then I'll follow up when players are kind of surprised by it. It's yeah, not really a he true gets a combo, grab. But yeah, he gets a grab after it a lot. It's, so he's well, that should to, be an easy stock, yeah. Yeah, so he had to use that to stall because of that uh, forward smash. The only other option he had was to up B and try to DI the forward smash, which might have been better in retrospect. There's another stock. But he's right there. He's only 10% uh, down, and there's that edge cancel. That's the crazy thing about up B. <laughs> yeah. Imagine someone else with up B. Great roll after that ledge uh, get up. Oh. Ooh. No jump, but he goes right into the down smash. And that, oh, oh, no jump. Did he not mistaken, have a jump? I think he may have mistakenly double jumped, or he just didn't know. Oh, oh they can't up attack. And there's another one. And finally, third time is a charm. <laughs> Freeman should have had that stock <laughs> twice before that. But there it is. So he's got a lead now on Josh Brody. Get up attack. He's trying to just tack on some damage with that down air. Man, if Prince is the slippery dino, then Freon is the, the slippery, slippery Italian. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I was whatever you with. want, you know, ethnically. Yeah. <laughs> Good up smash. Yeah. A lot of people would have gone for the grab or something a little less uh, a little less reliable, but you will definitely get a kill at over 100. So Josh is going to try and clutch this out. Freon. Freon with the forward throw. It's one stock to force game three here. And Josh is absolutely at kill percent. Yeah. yeah no, he has to be extremely the, careful of a push off, yeah. though. And he has to fast fall into that to, to land that up B. Yeah, that just like you said, he had to be careful of that push off. 
maybe didn't have the, the foresight to see it, pushes Luigi off, and freeing with really great reaction time to... Yeah, if you're going to push Luigi off, you really want to push him off with a multi-hit. Yeah, to Perhaps touch him after that with, with something. And even in, in the case of Pikachu, if you're going to land the multi-hit and you're on the platform, don't Z-cancel it. Yeah. Because you're going to get that extra hit. And you're not going to follow up anything. You'd you rather know? push him away. Yeah, get some damage. You know? The one thing you have to have against Luigi is respect for Absolutely. those big hitting moves. Ooh, not on purpose by Josh. Great, great option. But he's going to make it back. But. He's got no more height from that down B, though, since he used it. So wisely, Josh opts to edge hog. Ooh, almost lands that. Oh, <laughs> down tilts at the ledge. Yeah, just tries to, ooh. Doesn't quite break through that fireball. Crouches. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. He was kind of waiting for the tech there. Great uh, job. Just take the fireball. Yeah, and that Nair beat out Luigi's down air. Korean tried that down air. Almost was successful with it, but... But Josh up 4-2 now, but you can't discount up B. That's it, man. 3-2. <laughs> Fireball or two and a quick. I mean, how many frames uh, does it take for that up air to come out? I don't know if you know how Up air three. The, is it three? Yeah, it's so quick for Luigi. Oh, and he tries the. Oh, wow. He's going to make it oh, back. Not going to be able to get that jab grab. And Josh oh, gets out of there. I don't know if that was, that was a shield jump, but Freehan tries that. I think he always tries that down tilt. Great ledge oh, cancel. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that's. Oh, my God. Pika is from <laughs> something the else. Depths. Literally. Pixels away from the from the abyss. Yeah. But this is a very strong lead. Well, it uh, was a very strong lead. And is that justice right there for Pika? <laughs> should have. <laughs> yeah, really. Should not have lived. Blast zone justice. Hades was mad. Blast zone justice. That's a good tournament name. <laughs> Frame two. I don't know. comes out on. I don't know if this stream it is the here until we'll repeat it. So Mario and Luigi's up air comes out on frame two. Dark Horse looked up for Ooh. us. Up. Thunder, and not enough to kill. I feel like only a few more percent. And it's yeah. Back air. We're only into that back air. It is rough there. Freehan's going to have a tough time getting back here. Takes the coin, but Josh just trades it, and that's enough. Yeah, Josh will pay the price. He'll pay the buck for that stock. But still, Freehan takes a game, and that, I mean, depending how the rest of the pool is going, that may be. Wait, did he take a game? 